we're doing a little uh, little uh, talk here on uh, what people are uh, showing here at the uh, okay. at this meeting, and uh, what kind of wines are you pouring? Well, we're pouring. Uh, Alexander Nicole uh -huh. at this table, but we will be pouring other wines as well. Great. Do you have uh, Alexander Nicole here? Yeah. Sure. Jared? Sure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John Springer. Well. Right. Welcome to uh, the Seattle Wine Society. Nice we're doing a, a little video here. What can you tell us about Alexander Nicole? Uh, we're a small winery. We do about 5,000 cases. Uh, we're, our state vineyard is Destiny Ridge, so that's a larger vineyard. It does about 70,000, but we sell about 90% of our fruit to other, other wineries. And, we use about 10% for ourselves. Make, make several different varietals. So. You get good distribution in Seattle? Yeah, actually, this is our largest market. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. Dynamite, so. We have a taste room in Prosser and in Woodville. I just opened that up in July this last year. I'll see you more. Well, good. Good. All your food comes from War 7 Ales? Yeah, from our state vineyard. The state vineyard. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Well, I know you've got wonderful wines. Thank oh, you thank for you. coming. Appreciate it. Thanks. Linda, yes. nice to have you here. We're doing a little talk, we're doing some filming, and Linda, you've got a lot of history with the Washington industry. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, well, Mercer Ranch? Uh, Mercer Ranch was founded, uh, gosh, back in the or 1890s, but uh, we became farmers <laughs> because of irrigation in uh, six, 1968. Shampoo produces or produces grapes from some of the top wineries in the state, don't yes. they? the shampoo been a vineyard? Uh, since 72. Since 1972. Well, thank you very much for coming out tonight. Hopefully you will get a lot, a lot more customers. Okay. Thanks, thank Linda. Paul, welcome. Thank you for coming tonight. Oh, you're welcome. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Yeah. We're doing a little filming. Uh -huh. We just, just got through talking with Linda Mercer about the vineyard, and, uh -huh. and uh, now you're the owner of the vineyard. Or one of the owners? Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, we've been, I've been there since 1989. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Shampoo Vineyards. Uh, we have 175 acres, uh, 10 different varieties. Uh, Cabernet is our, is our biggest variety. We have about 175. Uh, I came down that area in 1972, and I haven't been able to get out of there yet. You know, the Horse Heaven Hills, the Sleeping Giant caught me, and, you know, and I love doing what I do. Uh, uh, I've been in the wine industry since 1979, and I haven't worked a day since. <laughs> you know, so. uh, several of the uh, top wineries, uh, wine makers, uh, use your grapes, don't they? They do. We, uh, uh, we sell our grapes to about 25 different winemakers. Uh, and there at, at our vineyard, we do uh, vineyard tours and tasting. They uh, screwed up. And what we do there is we taste wines made by many of the different winemakers that we sell grapes to. So when you taste wines in our tasting room, you're tasting uh, different winemaking styles because they're making different winemakers are making wine out of the same block of grapes, same block of grapes, and so they all taste different. You know, they all taste good, they taste different. So you're, you're tasting different winemaking styles. So I can go check out the Quilcita Creek at the uh, yeah, The Quilcita right Creek, yeah, that's one of our, they're one of my members uh, in our company also. Uh, my wife, Judy, and I are majority owners, of course, and so, you know, we're, we're the ones that uh, have done all the improvement to the vineyard, and uh, our, our members are just the name of Quilcita Creek and uh, Woodward Canyon, Andrew Will, and Powell. Those are the five of us that are, that are members of Shampoo Vineyard LLC. We came back, we